Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Paul and I am a storyteller at the British Library. Today I would like to share with you a really fun, exciting myth called Finn McCool and the Giant's Causeway. Enjoy. A long, long time ago, there was a giant, and his name was Finn McCool. He was as tall as an oak tree, and he was as strong as 100 men, and his voice was so loud that it could be heard from miles away. This giant, Finn McCool, he lived in Ulster, Northern Ireland, together with his lovely wife, Una. And they had a great life together. Dancing, singing, playing, talking, and eating gigantic griddle cakes slathered in honey. But there was one problem. And that problem was Ben and Donna. Now Ben and Donna, he too was a giant, and he lived in Scotland across the sea. And Ben and Donna, he was rude. He loved shouting insults at Finn from across the water. Finn, I am much bigger than you. I am much stronger than you, you little shrimp. Every single day, Ben and Donna would tease like that. And one day, Finn, he had had enough. He decided to go across the sea to Scotland and to show Ben and Donna that he was the biggest and that he was the strongest. But giants, they're not very good swimmers. So instead, Finn started to build a road across the sea, a causeway. And he built this causeway using enormous six-sided stones. He built the causeway from his home in Ulster all the way to the Isle of Staffa in Scotland, where Ben and Donner lived. And then one day, after building for a very, very long time, the giant's causeway was finished. Oh, Finn, he couldn't wait to show Ben and Donner how big and strong he was. But then, shh, the earth started to shake. And Finn McCall, he looked up and he saw Ben and Donner stepping out onto his causeway. And that's when he realized that he had made a mistake, a very big mistake, because Ben and Donner was much bigger than he had thought. And Ben and Donner was much bigger than Finn. Finn McCall, he turned around and he started to run. He ran back along the causeway and he ran all the way home to Ulster across the sea and he ran into his house as fast as his legs could carry him and he slammed the door shut. <sighs> but Ben and Donna wasn't turning back. He kept walking along the causeway and it didn't take him long before he was standing outside Finn's house, knocking on the door. Finn was scared. He didn't know what to do. But there was somebody in the house who did. And that was Finn's clever wife, Una. Listen, Finn, she said. I've got a plan. Wrap yourself 
this bed sheet. Lay down in the bathtub and pretend to be a baby. A baby, said Finn. Mm -hmm. Well, Finn, he did what his wife asked. He wrapped himself in the bed sheet. He lay down in the bathtub and he pretended to be a baby. Well, meanwhile, Ben and Donner was getting impatient. He kept knocking on the door, and so Una walked over and she opened it. Where is Finn McCool? That little shrimp, said Ben and Donner. Oh, you mean my husband, said Una. Well, he's just gone out to hunt for deer, but why don't you come inside and wait for him here? I'm just putting our baby to sleep. Una, she brought Ben and Donner into the house and she led him into the bathroom. And there, remember, in the bathtub was Finn McCool pretending to be a baby. Is that your baby? said Ben and Donner. Mm-hmm, said Una. Isn't he cute? He is very big, said Ben and Donner. Yeah, he's quite big, said Una. But wait until you see his dad. Ben and Donner was starting to get nervous now. If the baby is that big, he thought, well then, Finn McCool, he must be absolutely enormous. Oh, he was frightened now. And he wasn't going to stay around and wait for Finn to return. No way. And so Ben and Donner, he got up and he ran out of the bathroom. And he flew out of the front door and he started sprinting down the causeway back to Scotland. But he didn't want Finn to follow him. And so he used his enormous fists and he smashed up that causeway. Yes, he smashed up those six-sided stones into pieces until there was nothing left. And the two giants, they never saw each other again. And today, of course, there are no longer any giants in Ireland or in Scotland. And the road across the sea that Finn built, the Giant's Causeway, it is now gone. Well, almost. Because if you ever go to the Isle of Staffa in Scotland, you can still see the end of that road that Finn built. And if you ever go to Ulster in Northern Ireland, you can see the beginning of the causeway built with those same six-sided stones. And that strange, strange looking place in Ireland, it is now considered one of the wonders of our world. And it is still today called the Giant's Causeway. And now you know why. Thank you for watching the story of Finn McCool and the Giant's Causeway. Hope you enjoyed it. At the British Library, of course, we have lots of stories and I would like to encourage you to have a look at our Discovering Children's Books website. There you can find lots more stories as well as fun and interesting activities to try. Again, thank you very much and bye-bye.